All right, today we're gonna bring a freezer, and this is a great deep freezer that we're gonna set up. I have it in my garage, if you guys notice. I put it in my garage here because this is where it's gonna rely on. It's gonna sit here. Now, just to let you guys know, it's about 1.5 cubic feet uh, chest freezer. Uh, produ the product size is about 26.6 in width, 17.5. Um, and then dimensions is going to be the 30.3 So let's take a look at the rest of the stuff and see the temperature controls now If you guys can see the temperature controls, it's way in the bottom. It's in the lower place All right, and this is where you're gonna get most of the actual connection when it turns green That means it's powering up. It's freezing up. So right now we're on level three But if you ever need extra coldness, you could crank this up easy off the box it comes with number three plug let's take a look at our plug the plug connection is right here if you ever need to move it you can wind it back down and then it has cable management support really good i like about that so let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about the actual freezer and um perfect if you're going to set up in your garage if you're going to set up this is an indoor freezer let's take a look at it and see some of the features and then we'll take some measurements 16 inches i would say not 17 16 inches from there uh the deeper part is going to be about close to 24 inches about there all right so 17 close to 17 to 24 you can always put ice creams if you want or something or maybe just the soda to get cool right away or you want to put your six pack or something of beer instead of getting frozen you could just you know change it up you could even change the actual temperature to instead of freezing up like right now i have a number three it is becoming to frost on the side but it's not enough to freeze the things right now it, it will accumulate and it will freeze in time so i like this that has an extra basket is you can move it left or right and if you guys notice on the bottom way in the bottom there's actually a drain pipe and i'm gonna show you i'm gonna focus a little bit more there's a drain pipe right there so anytime you want to defreeze and turn it off and move it around all the water will accumulate there and then on the side of it you would just up un 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 unplug it and then let the water out very simple easy to use all right best thing about I like about this freezer easy to open it's not that heavy there's no shocks or anything like that it's just a manual lift um, this is pretty much plastic on one end but there's foam in the middle of course and the deepest part is the left side part the other side is there's a big step in here if you want to just add certain things in here certain products in here certain meats on here and like I said we have that beautiful draining pipe right here it will automatically drain your your stuff out because it goes through here if you guys can see it pop it out best thing about this thing if it gets too heavy it's okay it has wheels you can move this around with wheels it has wheels uh, they're only one directional wheels but it's easy to manually move it around and change directions all right i like this part of it where you can see it the actual meter instead of some freezers keep it inside this one's outdoor so you guys can see it my recommendation when you're setting something like this make sure you leave at least a foot and a, a foot and a half apart so air could come in flow in here because this is how it accumulates and it creates the actual coolness of the air so let's take a look at how cold it is right now we had it on for 24 hours and we have a level three so let's take a look all right let's take a look at the fridge itself all right on the outside is normal temperatures i know my hand let me show you my hand it's about the same temperatures out here right but look all the coldness in the one side this is where i'm talking about it's going to suck in all the air if you guys can see some of the ventilation it needs to be sucking the air so you make sure you're at least a, a foot and a half away from the wall or maybe a couple of inches so you can help the system out and circulate some air now let's take a look at the actual inside and i'm going to open it up and see how cold it is in the inside it's about 42 right now maybe 30s you know but we haven't we haven't level three right now if you guys can see the side walls are 20 to 26 so we're gonna actually see the heat the frost on the top pretty much on the area if you guys can see this is the coldest part we could even go down to 19 on some of the particular areas here but the freezer itself it reflecting a lot of the heat from the outside there's no heat inside it's all coolness uh like i said a, the top of the actual fridge is where it actually starts freezing up a little bit more that's where you're going to get the coldest part of it and then it sinks all the way to the bottom so 
I like this view. I like this whole stuff. It's very simple to use. I like how they set the whole thing up with the extra step. I love that it turns on easy to set up. Not heavy at all. It took one guy to set up. So simple. Well, overall, the freezer is a perfect item that you want to add to your garage or your back room or anywhere that you need extra space uh, for any kind of frozen stuff. Because unfortunately, all the new fridge that you're purchasing don't have enough actual cubic space for any freezing stuff. And now, as a large family, you need extra meats, extra frozen stuff, and it's good to have an emergency stuff. So this is a great addition to the actual family and bringing something like this to the actual garage and just set it up. So anytime you have family coming over and you, have, you don't have enough food or anything, or you don't have to go to the market, it's good to have something like this. Now, my recommendation is just to have that extra foot on the side apart so air could come in there, and this will last you for many years and many seasons, of course. And like I said, this is something that you could set up. It doesn't take too much space, easy to roll out. One person can carry this. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. 99.6 of you are not subscribers in my channel. I hope that the content helps you out and that you find it very useful. And I hope you hit the like and subscribe.